it's a four ace cutting routine we have the four aces the really neat thing about it is that, that there is uh, some really cool subtleties in it uh, I'm going to take the four aces and place them in separate areas of the deck now these aces go in separate areas of the deck and the aces are lost uh, the deck can be shuffled down by a spectator and at this particular point in the effect uh, you're just going to have to take my word for it uh, there are no short cards there are no strip cards. These are not belly strippers or edge strip like uh, 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 any trick deck. I don't use any extra aces. The aces are not shaved or stripped. There's no short cards, no short corners, no cards with bumps on the back, no crimps, no punch deals. The aces can be lost inside the deck, and then you can have a spectator cut the deck. And basically, the really neat thing about this is that it is a well-mixed deck of cards. Now, the whole idea of the magic effect is, of course, you playing the part of the magician card shark, is to just take a deck of cards and shuffle them just for a moment and give them a little cut, and instantly, if you're lucky enough, you wind up cutting to an ace. I mean, out of a regularly shuffled deck of cards, a regular deck of cards without any tricks or gimmicks or anything like that, cards can be mixed, shuffled by a spectator, and you just basically give the deck a, a shuffle and, of course, a couple of cuts, and then wind up cutting to an ace. I mean, that's the basic dream of uh, most card sharks or most magicians. The deck of cards is well shuffled. Okay, the last ace is always the toughest, and, of course, that's what we always say because that's always the story that goes along with it. But the idea is to shuffle and, and really mix up the cards so you mix up the aces and mix up those aces inside the deck of cards. The last ace is always the toughest, so we'll give them a couple more cuts. I'm going to cut the deck into two equal piles, turn over the top card, it happens to be a 10. I'm going to count 10 cards. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And of course the last one is the 10th card. And that's the ace of, ace of hearts. And that is bishop cuts the aces.